China is on the brink of a new revolution. A revolution in design. A dynamic new generation of Chinese innovators is bursting onto the international design scene. They're creating fresh products for the global marketplace. Products which proudly proclaim, designed in China. For the past 30 years, China has been the world's workshop, making everything from sneakers to circuit boards. But products made in China are often designed abroad. If China is to sustain her economic miracle, she must change from a nation of makers to a nation of designers. In this program, we meet three very different product designers, pioneers bent on creative and business expansion. Over one busy year, we follow the ups and downs of their lives to discover the secrets of their success. David Jia is an award-winning industrial designer. His company designs a very wide range of cutting-edge products. Uh, uh, Artistic Li Nai Han wins admiration for her highly individual modular furniture. She also grasps every opportunity to work with others to help China's design scene flourish and grow. Zhang Lei is an avant-garde designer who surprisingly finds his greatest inspiration in China's past. We these three designers have different business models, clientele, and working style. But they share one thing. They are pioneers in their chosen field, product design. Headquartered in Beijing, David Jia is one of China's most successful product designers. David graduated from Tianjin University in 2000, and since then, he's ridden the wave of China's mass productivity. In 2004, two years before China's policy for indigenous innovation was first published, David took the brave step of setting up his own design company. But it was for the city where he studied that David produced one of his proudest pieces of work. The story of his robotic bus battery charger is typical of David's approach. Founded in 1904, the Tianjin bus system was the first in China. In 2010, they introduced electric buses. However, there was a problem. When the batteries needed recharging, the buses were taken out of service for up to five hours, even at peak times, causing huge problems for Tianjin commuters. In 2011, the China state grid turned to David for help. He spotted immediately the importance of this high-profile green energy project. So, he decided to lead the design team himself. Firstly, he redesigned the bus batteries so that they could be easily removed from the buses. 
to do that, he changed the connections from the traditional nut and bolt to sprung terminals. Then he invented a robot to remove the flat batteries and swap them for charged ones. David calls this design charge and swap, and it drastically reduces the time it takes to get buses back on the road, from five hours to just 10 minutes. Problem solved, David's game-changing robot could now help greener transport spread across China. One secret of David's success is his ability to take a brief from a client and turn it into a first-rate product. But he also loves to design from the heart. Today, he's just received the prototype for his luxury incense burners. Made from traditional materials and fashioned like a work of art, products like these give David the chance to indulge his creative passion. Typical of David, even this artistic creation has a technical innovation at its core. He's shaped the incense cone so smoke flows downwards like water. Over a thousand kilometers south of Beijing, in the famed heavenly city of Hangzhou, lives avant-garde product designer Zhang Lei. Zhang gained a master's degree in industrial design from the Domus Academy in Milan, Italy. In Europe, he also gained something that would prove important for his future, the perspective to discover his identity as a designer. In Italy, I think it's very easy to be able to see myself. I'm a Chinese designer. And if I need to find myself, it's very easy, because all of the people are different from me around me. Zhang returned to China ready to take on the world and founded his own design company. Zhang Lei and the team use the latest computer-aided design methods, but their materials are iconically Chinese. Bamboo, porcelain, paper. He calls their unique creations future tradition. In our design, the nutrient is from China's native traditions. And I also recognize the Chinese 这个道道家和儒家的呃思想的熏陶和影响，嗯，所以在我们的设计之中呢，你会很很很难看到呃特别呃特别 aggressive 的设计，非常高对比的，呃，可能呃所有的东西都会偏柔和，或者是所有东西会偏呃偏偏向原色的。The products are very diverse, but they share a unity. Thanks to the team's design aim, fusion. We hope to make the traditional materials and traditional life merge into our modern design. But they want this fusion to be so subtle their customers don't even notice it. I always give a simple example, which is the water example. We use the traditional tradition to make 糖 ，sugar， 我们呢，呃，把这个当代设计比作水 ，water， 呃，然后呢，你最后得到的设计是什么？是糖水。那这个糖水，呃，你喝起来是甜的，但是你看不到糖在哪里。John thinks one clue to their success is the international character of the company's three designers: Serbian interior designer Jovana Bogdanovic, 
and industrial designer Christoph John. Uh, Chris 呢是一个非常非常严谨和高逻辑性的德国人，德国设计师。那 Yohanna 呢，他是一个。呃，极其浪漫主义和装饰主义的一种，用感性来做设计的一个女设计师。我呢，其实是很中国，就是很中庸，然后就是呃，也不偏呃太极端的这个逻辑主义，然后也不太偏极端的这个感性，然后就是一个非常能够呃能够能够融的这样一个呃呃这样一个状态。To create their innovative products. Zhang builds on centuries of Chinese craftsmanship, still preserved in places like Yuhang County. Today, he's visiting the elderly artisans whose skills and materials are so vital to the company's success. First stop, master craftsman Swun, paper parasol maker. Every time you test, right? Yeah, you test. Um, because it's wood. 他一直割七八亿嘛嘛，就怕你了。羊。中国设计的未来一定就是在我们脚下，就在就就在我们生活的旁边那些呃那些我们曾经忽略的那些传统的东西。In this way, the craft skills and the aesthetic beauty of a traditionally produced parasol provide the sparks of inspiration for a contemporary lampshade. Traditional handicrafts also inspire the team to experiment. They copied Mr. Swan's gluing technique to eventually create their internationally sold signature range of paper chairs. Next stop. Master craftsman Lee, traditional bamboo papermaker and expert on everything to do with bamboo. Ah, ah. Paper, he won't. He won't. What is the reason? It's because the wood is too rough. 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 Mr. Li's family has been making bamboo paper since the Ming Dynasty. Zhang is like a young apprentice, eager to understand everything about bamboo. He's alive to the importance of this kind of traditional knowledge for his company's success. In our generation, 像这个红色的话，就是它这个竹子里边的红色出来。竹子里边怎么有这么多红色呢？老的竹子肯定有的吧？老的竹子就是那个，竹子本身它就它有红的。Making bamboo paper is a dying art, as few people want to buy it these days. Zhang wants to collaborate with Mr. Li, not only to find new uses for bamboo paper, but also to create avant-garde design ideas. From other kinds of bamboo products, like pulp and paste. 呃，每次他看到我的一些新的作品，因为我每次来都要把一些新的作品的照片啊，或者是什么给他看一下，因为我需要让他知道，他一直很好奇，我到底拿这些纸、拿这些纸浆、拿这些材料，到底这些竹子去干什么了。所以他每次看了之后，其实他还是蛮能接受新事物的。呃，他每次都挺开心的。这个。呃，这个是呃《艾勒·戴克》这个杂志邀请我们做了这几个展览。这个展览的话，就是用您这个竹纸浆。呃，纸浆其实它是它是作为代表纸，它这种呃圆书纸、竹纸，它是可以代表中国的一个呃气质的这样一种一种表面，哎，就一样一种皮肤。啊This highly original fusion of cutting-edge design and iconically Chinese materials has won Zhang and the team global recognition. Their first win was in Milan, when they became the first Chinese design team to carry off the coveted Design Report Award for furniture. 
the whole group, like uh, like uh, you guys, uh, <laughs> invaders with the cameras and the microphones, to to have an interview and like ah, you guys won the world. What? <laughs> it was uh, so unexpected at that time. To succeed, they must capitalize on this unexpected publicity before the moment passes. But they face a big challenge. How to create a production line that satisfies the market without sacrificing the handmade quality that is their signature style. Our third designer is internationally renowned creative.